Let's explore a hypothetical scenario where universities across the nation decide to divest from Israel. Driven by protests and demands for ethical alignment, this divestment has the potential to set off a series of unintended consequences that ripple through academic, economic, and geopolitical spheres. Towering endowments worth billions are underpinning the very fabric of our universities. These gargantuan funds are the lifeblood of higher education, financing everything from cutting-edge research to scholarships that shape the future. Managed by shrewd financiers, these portfolios are fine-tuned to ensure the financial health and longevity of institutions. On campuses nationwide, students and faculty are rallying for universities to purge their portfolios made up of stocks, bonds, real estate, and hedge funds that they deem unethical. They're not just asking for change, they're demanding it with sit-ins that disrupt daily classes and impassioned speeches that draw crowds. They see these investments as more than transactions. They see them as testaments to the university's values and vision. By divesting, universities can leverage their financial influence to advocate for change. This action might encourage other organizations to reevaluate their investment strategies, potentially leading to broader societal shifts towards more ethical investing practices. These advocates argue that investing in regions with contentious political actions contradicts the mission of fostering a better future. One immediate consequence of investment could be the strain on academic collaborations between U.S. universities and Israeli institutions. Israel is a hub for technological innovation and scientific research, with numerous partnerships spanning fields such as medicine, engineering, and environmental science. A blanket divestment could jeopardize ongoing research projects, affecting innovations in critical areas like cybersecurity, water conservation, and biotechnology. The academic fallout might extend to limiting opportunities for faculty exchanges and joint research initiatives, potentially stifling academic freedom and progress. Economically, universities might face immediate backlash in the form of reduced funding. This could come from alumni and donors who disagree with the divestment stance. Such a reduction in donations could have a direct impact on scholarship funds, new faculty hires, and the development of campus facilities. Moreover, opportunities for study abroad programs in Israel could diminish, limiting cultural and educational exchanges that benefit benefit student growth and global understanding. Additionally, internships and job opportunities linked to Israeli companies or those with strong ties to Israel could see a downturn, potentially affecting career prospects for graduates in sectors like technology and international business. On a larger scale, the decision to divest could place universities at the heart of international political debates, potentially affecting their reputation on the global stage. It might align them with broader geopolitical movements, inadvertently entangling them in international conflicts and diplomacy in ways that could harm their neutral standing and focus on education. Long-term economic consequences are also a critical consideration. Divesting from a country with a robust, innovation-driven economy like Israel's could mean missing out on significant growth opportunities. As Israel is a leader in several high-tech industries, universities might forego profitable returns from investments in cutting-edge technologies and startups. This could result in a less diversified and potentially less robust investment portfolio, impacting the endowment's growth and and by extension, its ability to fund educational initiatives over the long term. In this hypothetical exploration, it becomes clear the decision to divest from Israel, like any significant financial move, carries a complex array of potential outcomes and risks. While the ethical motivations behind such a decision are driven by a commendable desire for social justice and alignment of values, the full spectrum of consequences, academic, economic, and beyond, must be carefully considered. As universities ponder this monumental decision, the broader implications, highlight the delicate balance they must maintain between moral leadership and their foundational role in fostering education and innovation. The struggle underscores a broader societal conflict about money, morality, and the immense power vested in our places of learning. Until next time, hit that like button and subscribe to Cash Money Bros, where money and knowledge grow.